since the start of the new year, I've really been struggling. And I'm going to be honest, I've even contemplated quitting golf. And that might sound really dramatic. And this is no clickbait. Over the last four weeks, I've played some of the worst golf I've ever played. Oh no, that's wet. I mean, it's to the point where I, I've honestly struggled to get a golf ball off the ground. Oh, Luke. I'm struggling to hit a seven iron past 120 yards. Oh, f Luke. And it's knocked my confidence so much that I've genuinely contemplated giving up the game. However, over the last few days, I've really started to think about it. Do you know, do I, do I just give up? Do I give up the YouTube channel? I've really wondered how I can even do anything on YouTube with my golf being so poor at the moment. And what I've decided is actually, let's create some YouTube videos, a bit of a vlogging style of my practice, some things that I'm gonna be looking at. I'm gonna talk you through everything, the drills that I'm working on, and let's document my progress to all of you that hopefully you might find some things that you're doing that I'm doing and what I'm doing to fix that helps you. One problem I realize I have by looking back at videos of me on a golf course is I have some serious alignment issues. Ah, oh, Luke, that was a really poor strike again. Alignment is really important. So for a couple of alignment sticks for five pound on Amazon, they're absolutely essential for training. So what, what I like to do is pick out a flag and in front of me, I'm gonna lie, lay out one yellow stick at the flag and one here, like a train track for my feet to just make sure that I am lining up correctly. Now I can tell I have alignment problems because this, the, these alignment sticks are lined up perfectly to that red flag. However, when I get behind this ball, I feel like that that right flag is so far to my left that I feel like to hit that, so for me to feel like to aim at that right flag correctly, I feel like if I was on a golf course, I'd be aimed there. I think that is my, how I would get that ball to there. But as you can see, if I lay that club down there, I'm aiming to the trees. As you can see on this camera, I'm aiming to the trees down there. And so I really need to work on getting that alignment right because it doesn't matter what you do in terms of your swing change, you can swing it in and out, out to in. If you're aligned up incorrectly, your body is just going to naturally do what it needs to do to get the ball to your intended target. So the first thing I wanna work on today is keeping in posture. And if I had a wall behind me feeling like my bum cheeks stay against the wall throughout the whole swing. The second thing I want to work on is feeling like that club's coming more on that inside. So if I was, if I had a wall about two foot behind me, what I want to feel like is the club comes up missing the wall, but on the way back down, that club head travels down the side of the wall. So it would look a little bit over exaggerated, obviously, but will look a bit like that. So up the wall, missing the wall, then down the wall and through. So I watched a video on like early extension, this movement here last night on YouTube. And it really made me visualize the correct motion for a, for a golf swing. And if you have to get this thing to go fast or start to make it, to make it move in a predictable orbit, you don't move into it. It doesn't feel natural because all of a sudden it feels like I don't have any control. So as I start to feel it extend, I actually want to do the opposite. 
you'll see my lower body actually kind of pushes back against the motion coming through, like so. What that feeling was is, imagine that you've got your grip, a piece of rope at the end of that grip, and then a heavy weighted ball. And you were swinging that heavy weighted ball on it with a bit of string, and you were trying to swing that as hard as you could. You wouldn't swing it like that. Because of the weight at the end, if you could imagine, your body here, your hips, would resist, would push back to sling that weighted ball behind you, like so. You know, you'd, you'd, your body would work in the opposite direction. So you wouldn't go, because the heavy ball, well, it would pull you out of posture. You know, if, if I had a heavy ball at the end of this and I lifted this, I'd go over here and I'd fall over. So what I'm trying to feel, this, this club is a heavy ball on the end of a bit of string and I'm just trying to wing it around me, the feeling. Next what we're going to do is just do uh, a quick record with the camera facing me to look at my swing from a different angle and then I've also got and I've also got some of the these which are just basically stickers that you can stick onto the face of your club like so and just give you a bit more feedback of your ball strike so really all I'm trying to feel here is again that just always trying to feel remembering that that weight at the end of the club just to feel like I'm using my body to push you know, push away you know, getting really loose grip and just pushing away So one thing I'm definitely noticing here is that ball is a little bit ahead of my ahead of my stance there. Have a look at my feet through impact. And you can pause it there. You can almost see I'm my hands aren't very I'm not very much in front of the ball there. Let's have a look at another one. So looking at... Uh, seems to be a good rotation. Good body shift. Foot has come off the ground there. I'm just not quite getting my club See impact position there. Just not very much shaft lean. But again, going back, it does look like that ball is just a little bit ahead of me there. Again, that's very ahead of me there. Looking at the ball here. That's really in front of my stance there. So it's always going to, for a seven iron, We'll just put, I think we'll go, we'll put a ball here and a ball there. So ball there, ball there, and a ball in the middle there. So I've just got three balls on the ground here, two for each feet, well, one for each feet, one for the middle. So just looking at the first one, even though we were we were definitely healing the 
first few dragging that you know we were dragging it was a bit yeah it looks like we we're dragging that club over the top to create that impact position so we were struggling with a shank but as you can see there if i just slow that down you can see i definitely get ball then turf and there is my hands are definitely ahead of the ball at impact. And it's just trying to stay nice, low, club back down, coming on that inside, down that wall, imaginary wall behind us. And then just keep it nice and low through impact. So face on here. You yeah, do need to be a bit careful. So the first one here, I'm, I am definitely swaying. So if you see, if you look at my head, I need to be careful of I'm not swaying too much on that right foot. You know, look at this as a much better impact position. Hands in front of the ball. And it's definitely ball, then turf. So what you're working on at the driving range is something new to your body. So once you're out on that golf course, your golf course just wants to do what it feels is comfortable, what it knows best. And that's where your bad habits will creep in on the course. But that's why it's really important what I'm doing today, I'm going to be repeating weekly until I can really embed it into being my natural golf swing. You know, those, those last three strikes have been middle, slightly toe, you know, which is better. We don't, we don't want the Healy one that we were having earlier on. And it's just trying to stay nice, low, club back down, coming on that inside, down that wall, imaginary wall behind us. And then just keep it nice and low through impact. You know, the feeling is going to be that I'm down, you know, that, that's my feeling. It's like that, but it, in reality, that's not what happens. Right guys, that's me done for today. I think there were some good improvements there. You can definitely see some changes within my swing. But if you've liked this, please do drop a like, subscribe and press that bell icon. I'm gonna do a few more vlogs like this, working on my swing on the driving range and just getting that back to where it was and, 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 and even better. 